All right, well, we are back at Sue Young Park in the city of El Paso. And look what we have here, a tundra. Wow, where did this come from? Uh, I was contacted via PM from a RC Group's member. Said, hey, I got one. Give you a good deal on one if you want it. So I took him up on his kind offer. So, uh, so here we are. So we're going to go ahead and, and put this thing up in the air. It's going to go ahead and maiden it. See how it goes. This is the maiden flight of the Tundra. Got a uh, 2200 in there. Got her balanced about where she should be. We'll find out how this thing goes. Let's go. Maiden flight. Tundra. Wow. Well, that was effortless. Okay, you're, you're looking at the maiden flight right now of my, uh, my DuraFly Tundra. Okay, she's going to need a little left trim. Uh, I put a 12-6 a, a wood prop on her. Um, I noticed that the, the, the glass fiber prop was a 12-6, so I figured she could handle uh, this prop. Uh, the only reason why I did that is because I've heard people say that uh, that the glass fiber prop had some issues bolting down on the to the uh, motor. There you go. First maneuver that's not even trimmed yet. <laughs> what an idiot, right? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I got six minutes on the timer. Again, it's 2220C, so. We'll see how she does. We got some people moving out here. Great Memorial Day. It's a Saturday, on our Memorial Day weekend here in the U.S. Um, wow, I really like the way this thing's flying already. It's very gentle. I'm gonna move down here. These people are setting up for soccer, or whatever they're setting up for. Uh, and I was afraid this was gonna happen. That's all right. You're watching the maiden flight. Uh, so far I've been going about 50% throttle, just flying her around. Haven't been doing anything crazy with her. Um. We're going to go ahead and see how she does her stall turns. See, i got these people right in front of me, so I'm trying to be a good neighbor and not fly over unprotected people. <laughs> Crap. Oh, well. Anyway, um, i got the timer set to six minutes. It's 2200. i still got to trim this thing out. She, she wants to go... She wants to roll... Let me get some... Let me get some... Uh, Get some, uh, what do you call it, left trim dialed in around the ailerons. Uh, my pitch trims are really good, which is kind of what I was afraid of. Okay, I'm, I'm taking some of that, that roll out, that right roll out. Okay. Yeah, she's responding a lot better now. Okay, well, huh. All right. Um, yeah, impressions. Uh, very soft. And, uh, very stable. Of course, there's no wind. Let's see. It. Let's get her up and do a hammerhead. Well, she kind of rolled out. All right. Well, huh? Interesting. All right. We'll try that again here. <clears throat> Keep her out of the sun. Uh, yeah. Again, you're you're look you're watching a uh, a maiden flight here. Um, so we'll try another hammerhead here. I don't want to get him over the kids here. All right, well, yeah, she takes a little bit more throttle than, than I'm used to, uh, to to want to come over the hammerhead. The the uh, Sport Cub uh, appears to have a little bit more rudder authority, which is strange because this rudder is like a sail. <laughs> but um, any event, um, again, uh, this was courtesy of a, another RC Group's member, a uh, kind gentleman, who, again, he PM'd me and uh, said, hey, you know, you know, I've got an I've got an extra one, and uh, I'd really like you to have it. You know, would you like to buy it from me? I'd give you a good deal on it. I'm like, well, okay. So uh, I did. And uh, actually, I'm kind of glad I, I took him up on that offer. At first, I was kind of like, well, you know, I, you know, I don't want to take your your spare plane. Um, let's do a loop. All right, that's our first loop. A little barrelish but okay um 
and uh, okay, we're down to two minutes. Um, let's do. A, I got these people setting up. You know, it's Saturday soccer leagues, soccer liga, football liga, <laughs> and uh, call it football around here. F U T B O L. You know, it's not soccer. It's football. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and do some. Uh, I don't want to say some slower work, but let's let's deploy the flaps for the first time and see what she does. So, because so far I've been flying her without flaps. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. There's flap. There's a half flap. Oh yeah, she wants to balloon right up. Boy, I'll tell you what. Wow, you better be on that elevator. Let's clean her up. Let's get the flaps off. Um, huh. One minute says my lovely assistant. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and land her here. Um, we're going to go without flaps for the landing. And I'm going to set up my, my, my standard approach. And you're looking at the first uh, the first landing here. Well, I'm going to go with half flap. All right, well, there we go. Rather ig ignanimous. <laughs> okay, 30 seconds. I don't know where we're at. With the, uh, I almost want to have more, uh, more elevator authority. There's my flaps, by the way. So there's half, there's full. I'm not a big, you know, a lot of people, and no, there's no chatter. Okay, no chatter. Oh, let me turn my, 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 my lovely assistant off. So, uh, huh, okay, well, wow. Um, there's half flap. There's full, so I'm not a big, you know, and I, and I made sure I looked from behind, and I made sure, you know, he had these things deploying, you know, right and all that, and they are, um, as far as, you know, equally and everything. Um, I'll tell you, um, wow, all right, uh, impressions, she's very soft on the controls, very mild-mannered, um, wow, okay, because you're looking at the maiden, uh, let's get her moved around here and get old glory there because it is our memorial day here in in the u.s i don't know how old that prop is um it's probably like ancient <laughs> i honestly don't know um it's an old you know rc power prop 12.6 wood um and yes uh unfortunately <laughs> i say unfortunately i'm flying on 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 a, on a spectrum system uh it was kind of like the only receiver I had. So it's an old AR uh, 6200 uh, with with satellite. So it's actually it's DSM2. It's not DSMX. But as you can see, I, I don't have any <clears throat> any issues with it. It's just me out here flying. I got it bound to my DX6 um, Sea Duraflight Tundra right here. Hopefully, hopefully you can see it. Uh, I got quite a bit of left trim dialed into her. I guess I don't know. Maybe six clicks or so. Uh, which actually isn't too bad. Um, so, so yeah, impressions. Um, she's a little soft. I kind of like that, by the way. This is going to be a relaxing flyer. Notice I've already got the the Velcro on for my my uh, my uh, adventures to record my adventures because um, because um, I'm not going to use the, the the glider release. Um, but wow, impressions. I'm, I'm very, very happy with it. The overall quality, and I did this myself, right here, those little compression dings, with my watch. I was putting the thing together, and you know, last night, and, and I actually did that. So the, the plane, which you can't even, you know, it's a five foot away, you can barely even tell. It's got its first hangar rash, you know, woo right? So whoopee-doo. Um, the plane went together very easily. I had a bit of a problem with the, uh, the wing spar. The, the the main spar wouldn't go into the, the there's 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 multiple spars there's a, there's a main spar which is very beefy actually and then there's and then these metal strut these metal uh, wing struts are, are beefy too the, this thing's actually pretty beefy um, I'm gonna add the uh, tail braces although I don't think that this tail is very I mean it's stout. I, I'm just keeping it real. Um, you know, having flown the uh, Sport Cub S2 
now going into its third season, uh, this thing's pretty darn darn stout. Um, it really is. It, it, it's got a lot bigger uh, frontal area, a lot bigger fuselage, so it doesn't slice through the air as, as well. But uh, it's a bush plane, I'll tell you what. It's stable. Um, you saw the Maiden. I was not uh, afraid to, to try maneuvers on, on, well, within the first minute of it being in the air. <laughs> and we're going to start to explore the, the, the stall envelope. We're going to start to explore the stall envelope. I bet you with these flaps, this thing's just going to jump off the ground, um, even with that wood prop on it. And I'm going to experiment a little bit. I brought the uh, this factory prop that came with it, the carbon fiber prop, in case you know I prang this one. Um, but uh, as you can see, this thing just takes right off, and my elevator trims were actually good. And it just, I didn't do any, the only trimming I've done, I did, for that flight that you just saw, was aileron it was about six clicks a left and i've made sure that everything was centered uh you know visually and mechanically but you know, it's just what she took she wanted a little left aileron so there you go all right well hey there it is durfly tundra um sue young park um saturday memorial day weekend in the u.s there's old glory call her old glory here in the states and uh they got the the that's a memorial park for veterans actually so this is their big time of year right now it's a memorial park for veterans who have given the ultimate sacrifice uh for their country that's what memorial day is actually about here in the u.s it's actually about giving uh, honor to those who have have given their last full measure um veterans day in november is for all veterans however memorial day is set aside to honor those who have, have given their life um and they have the 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 ceremonial flag out it's just huge that thing is huge in any event memorial day uh weekend saturday um they're setting up for soccer as you can clearly see soccer classes i'm gonna get another battery in i'm gonna stop babbling i want to go grab i want to go check out what our flight times looked like uh we had about six minutes on the clock i've got eight seconds left and we're gonna see what she took out of a 2200 hey uh thank you for coming along and thank you to the fine gentleman by the way who who pm'd me and offered me up the spare tundra um great for you know who you are i'm very much appreciative and uh wow what a sweet flying plane all right hey happy landings everybody see you back here at sue young park durafly tundra Sweet flying plane. You just watched the maiden. All right. Happy landings, everybody.